Hello everyone and welcome back to Wonderland Explorer. Today brings us to Epcot. Now the Festival of the Arts is still going on, but it's aligning with the Lunar New Year this year. Yeah, so we wanted to come to Epcot and check out what's going on for Lunar Ooh. New Year at the China Pavilion. Also, we're gonna grab something to eat. Yeah. We're gonna see what type of merch they have. Oh yeah, we're gonna be like little rabbits hopping around. Oh yeah, because it is, it is the year of the rabbit. It is. Hip hop hip, <laughs> hippity hip hop hop. Let's get started. Come along with, with us, us as, as we, we explore. explore. into the China Pavilion here at Epcot. Before you go in and you admire the great structures of the China Pavilion, located outside, you usually have two booths. If you're looking for the good fortune within the new year, you definitely wanna stop at the good fortune gifts. And on those hot days, the joy of tea is quite refreshing. But we're more interested today in this booth right here. And currently it's called the Painted Panda. And they have some delicious, treats that we definitely want to try. One of them is the General Sal's like, they look like pot stickers. Oh, I can't wait to try those. They also have a pork bao bun, which looks amazing too. Oh, and speaking of, Kyle has waited in that really <laughs> long line and there they are. Oh, they look delicious. So pretty how they displayed them on the oh, plates yeah. too. They're beautiful. Oh, yes. Here also at this booth, they have wonderful and really pretty drink choices to choose from as well. Yeah. We didn't go with that because we still got so much to explore inside. But let's try these out first. We have found our spot to try these delectable, wonderful appetizers, Kyle. Chopsticks ready? Chopsticks are ready. What are you gonna go with first? I'm gonna go with the uh, General Sal's here. Okay. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. It's like a little sauce on there. Mm. These are actually pretty big. I've noticed that this has been probably the more popular of the items that they're serving over there. Everybody has basically gotten this. I haven't seen as many of the, the bow buns. This is this is the go-to. Let's try it. Okay. Let's see inside. Okay. What do you think overall? It's okay. Like it's not bad. I wouldn't say it's fantastic. It's probably like a solid like three and a half out of five. Maybe I'll so I'll, I'll try a little bit more. But right now, it's 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 okay. Is it like General Sal's flavor? I can't necessarily say that it tastes like General Sal's chicken. It tastes like a very good dumpling with a little bit of spice, so it's definitely got a pepper flavor to it. The little glaze they put on top of it, I think, is like the the General Sal's sauce. Otherwise, the chicken on the inside is just sort of like a just kind of a spicy chicken. It's not really anything different. So yeah, overall, I think I'd probably give this like a solid three and a half out of five. They're pretty, I'll say that. After trying it, I'll have to say, I don't think that it's my favorite dish that we've tried here at Epcot so far. It does have like a good heat kick to it at the end that lingers in your mouth, but then the taste of the sauce is good, but I think the texture of the chicken inside the dumpling kind of got to me a little bit. So overall, I would give this a two out of five for me and my taste buds. <laughs> that looks tender. I'm gonna get all the sauce on there. Oh, that we can. Some stealing sauce. I'm gonna put it all on the sandwich. Stealing. Yeah, sauce yeah. <laughs> the uh, outer texture, the the bao bun, it is like very soft. I know that we tried these in the past and I wasn't a big fan, but maybe I'll like this a little bit more. All right, where the other dish was a little bit more on the spicy side, this side is very much on the sweet. It has like the duck sauce, which was the sauce that went on there, and then the bun itself is very soft, and then the meat is a little bit tough. Overall, I think this one would be like, again, like a two out of five. It has a lot of flavor, put them together, it's sweet and spicy. Yeah, it's certainly, it's definitely on the messy side. I see what you're saying. I don't like this at all. This is horrible. Like, the texture of this bun, I, I don't even know how to describe this. It's kind of like mushy and, but yet like tough because of the meat at the same time. And this is also like really fatty. Like that's a big chunk of fat. So overall, I, I don't think I can recommend the Festival of the Art booth here at China. I think it's just, it really missed the mark. Like they're plated very beautifully. 
they look great. Like, you want to like them, but they're just really bad. Like, I had another one of those, the General Tso's dumplings, and the second one was terrible. Like, it was just not good. It's kind of like unfortunate. I was really hoping that these were going to be awesome. So anyway, I'm glad we tried them out. Well, I wouldn't recommend them. Okay, you know what this means, Kyle? Yeah, we're gonna have to try out. something else. <laughs> yeah, we do. We have to oh, keep going. Oh man, what a bummer! We have to eat something else. Ooh, <laughs> I think I know where we're gonna go. What a beautiful view it is here in the center of the China Pavilion. And we're gonna walk right over there. I should say we're gonna hop right over there to the Lotus Blossom and try some of their dishes out. We know we've had them before and they are quite good. Lotus Blossom is located right here next to the Nine Dragons. Now the Nine Dragons is the more formal sit-down restaurant where you can go in and order, where the Lotus Blossom Cafe is more like the fast casual where you go in, you order, and you can just enjoy the beautiful scenery outside. It's quite nice. It is covered as well. So we're going to make our way in here, show you what they have, and try their food out. They, they say first impressions are everything. This looks significantly better than out front. <laughs> it does. And the crazy thing is, it's like almost similar to the same prices. <laughs> yeah, out front was $20. This and was, this is $8 more yeah. for this, $28. Look at how much food we got. Yes, yeah, so we got an order of egg rolls, pot stickers, the orange chicken, which comes with an egg roll. But hey, I I love a good egg roll game. So yeah. but That's I pretty wild. It. So I mean, for $28, bucks, you got three egg rolls plus all of it. This yeah. is Man. So, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. All right, fingers crossed. This is good. Oh, we, we should. should <laughs> fingers <laughs> crossed. Are you ready for the crunch of the egg roll? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Steam. Little steamy, little vegetable -y. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to put some of my mustard sauce on there. Do you like the mustard? I do. I'm more it, is, it is hot. It's a little spicy. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so that begs a good question. So you're team mustard on your egg rolls. I am definitely team duck sauce. <laughs> it's, oh, oh. Oh yeah, all right, let's, let's try this. So does this mean you're the sweet one in the relationship and the spicy one? Or is it opposite? You're the spicy one, so you go after sweet. I think it depends on the day. <laughs> <laughs> Egg roll rating. I give it a solid three and a half out of five. It's very good. It's a lot better than the Painted Panda. So far. So good. All right, we have the delicious pot sticker. Now we both love these. They do have a fun dipping sauce to go with it. I think it's like a somewhat of a soy sauce. Yes, that's a lot better than that General Sal's. Mm. That's good, and I really like the sauce. I would actually give this one a higher rating than the egg roll. I would say this is a four out of five. You gotta try this, Kyle. I, I guess the question becomes, is it actually that good? Or was the, the booth out front so bad? <laughs> <laughs> that it's just skewed our perception and rating on all of these foods. <laughs> this is very tasty. That's a solid four out of five. I see what you're saying now. I, it is better than the egg roll, but I like the egg roll. Up next, orange chicken. Chicken on a stick. Orange Ooh. chicken on a stick. Yeah, it looks like a popsicle. Orange chicken lollipop. That's actually better than what I thought it was. Okay. So, this chicken is actually really good. For it to be so saucy as it is, it still has a crunch to it. And then on the inside, as you can see, it's all white meat. So like sometimes when you go out to the Chinese restaurants, it's kind of a mixture of like dark and white. So this is a little white, so it kind of has more of like a chicken tender taste to it, but it's still very good. The chicken's not too dry, which is also a key point. So overall, I think I would give this orange chicken dish a three and a half out of five. This orange chicken may have you turning red. <laughs> yeah, <excuse> me, I don't <laughs> no, but actually, it's got tons of sauce on there. It is all white meat. We've cut through some of these pieces of chicken, so yeah, definitely, I would agree. It's it's along like the chicken tender variety, but it has really good crunch on it. I also love how this dish comes with like an assortment of mixed vegetables. I've tried everything on here, including the white rice. 
and I'll have to say like overall, this is probably like a solid three and a half out of five. It's much better than out front. It's really good. I, like I said, love the crunch of the chicken. The mixed vegetables had like a really good flavor and taste to them, a little tangy. And the white rice just, of course, very simple, right to the point, cooked fine. Overall, I love this place. It's really a good option if you're passing through World Showcase, don't know what you want to eat, grab something quick. It, it's really good. We've been bamboozled. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I couldn't. <laughs> Seen the look on your face is like, what the heck is she doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what did you think of Lotus Blossom? You know what? It's better than what I remember. Yeah. I think this may be like a hit or miss restaurant sometimes. Yeah, definitely. But this was. time it was a hit and yeah. I actually liked it. I really enjoyed the myself. best The best time we've been here yet. So, it is. Yes. three and a half out of five. Definitely a solid score. Yeah. I think I'm totally done with the food now for the day. Oh my gosh. That yes. was so much food between yeah. the booth out front and then Lotus Blossom. Yeah. Whew. Heading into the House of Good Fortune, let's see what Lunar New Year celebratory merch awaits. So we're making our way inside. Look at the beautiful banner they've created. It says, Happy Lunar New Year. How fun is that? And then look at this. Yeah, it's a giant jade rabbit. It's got all these little intricate carvings on there. I don't know about those red eyes though. That's a, that's a little creepy, but. Yeah. Ooh, and they even have bunny ears. Is this the year of the rabbit? And you could also be set for Easter too. Yeah, you know? you're set <laughs> all year this year. And then look at these. They even have like little sprigs. These are supposed to be like luck, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah the lucky, lucky bamboo. bamboo. And they're like little bags so you can take your luck to go. House of good fortune, right? Luck. Would you, would you say you've been bamboozled again? Yeah, I've been bamboozled. <laughs> all right, the year of the rabbit. They have the sign here. It says, well-spoken, talented, and sentimental. So if you were born on any of these years, you were officially part of the Year of the Rabbit Club in I, Cheney. Yeah, do you think that describes me, Kyle? Y you are a part I am of a the part. Rabbit Club. I am the Rabbit Club. <laughs> 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 I can even get this ornament for keepsakes. Isn't that actually really pretty, the detail that they did? Like, even with hanging oh, yeah, it. Look at, look at how they made that little, like, um, yeah. tie knot there. That's pretty wild. In the back, 2023. This is my year. A few other little things. This is a clip. Put it in your hair. A little little rabbit on there. They also have. Oh my God! Hey, remember uh, Animal Kingdom? They, they hear no evils, speak no evil, <laughs> see no evil. They have that in rabbits. Oh, this is pretty good. It's following us everywhere. Is that is that like a sign? I don't know. But they have a keychain too for rabbits. They have another one of these kind of uh, red-eyed. This one's a little little creepy, but uh, under the Happy Lunar New Year banner, finding a good fortune photo spot. We're gonna have to take about 50 photos here, Shanae. <laughs> I'm just, on. just, I, yeah, got to really make sure we got good fortune going for 2023. <laughs> and then right next to that, they have this giant gold bunny. Yes. Again, red eyes and all for $288. Or for 36 you can get this little bunny. And look, he's dangling like a little carrot. <laughs> <laughs> he's really cute. Yeah. I like that one. Over in their jewelry section, you could be blinging in bunnies. Look at those. This is like little hearts so could you get away with that for valentine's day too carry over to easter <laughs> it's so pretty i think these are actually my favorite which one would okay. you choose uh i would probably say yeah i'd probably go with these these yeah okay and speaking of luck we have the lucky beckoning cat it's a pretty big assortment here keeping the theme going for a lucky new year i think we again we might need to buy like four or five of these shouldn't we? We need to be very, very lucky this year. Finding some more Year of the Rabbit merchandise. We have a little rabbit bank. Put your spare change in there. Then they have an even bigger bank. This is the, the Daddy Warbucks of the rabbit banks here. Put your coins in there. Some other decorations for New Year's. And there it is, Year of the Rabbit. So I've, I found a clearance section here. You know, again, you don't see those very often at Disney, celebrating Year of the Ram, Year of the Boar, but then right down there, they have Year of the Rabbit, so if you wanted to get a Year of the Rabbit t-shirt, it's a little different. It's on clearance. It's uh, $16.95. Okay, this is usually a hard thing to find both of our names. Find your name, personalized chopsticks, only $9.95. So I took a peek. We got Kyle right down there. And these are kind of neat. 
They're like laser engra- engraved. And then it also actually says Orlando at the top. So it's Kyle and Orlando. But the real question is, do they have Shanae? No, they never have Shanae. But I always have Shane. You, you can go with Shane. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I can get like a... I can get like a little engraver and I'll try to <laughs> cut an extra A into it and E. We'll, we'll make it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They have doggy outfits. Is this not the cutest thing or what? Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. They have a pirate costume. <laughs> That's adorable. All right, Shanae, so there's something here that's pretty legendary that I think because of, of New Year, Lunar New Year, we have yeah. to try it out. Okay. So it's a drink and it's called Bai Joe. Bai Joe? Bai Joe. <laughs> Sounds horrible. Bai Joe. <laughs> Where'd well, it go? We'll, it go? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay, we're going to not tell Shanae, but this is Bai Joe, so it's a modern twist <laughs> on a traditional Chinese spirit, and it's basically vodka. It's 80 proof, 40% alcohol. Seven dollars and fifty cents for a shot. I can already smell this. I mean, like, let me just show you how far away. <laughs> I think you could take paint off the wall with this thing. <laughs> Is this like sake? No, it's it's a it's just a, it's a nice flavorful drink. Just just try it out. Just try it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Here. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's pungent. It stings the nostrils. You know what? It's smooth. I'm not a, a shot person, but for a shot, it's actually smooth. It's smooth. And it like warms your body. Like my whole body's going, well, I can like feel it going down. Oh my and gosh. It's getting warmer and warmer. Yeah. This would be really good on a cold day. Ooh. I think it I think it's worse the more it like settles in. But oh my gosh. This I feel is like intense. if you have indigestion, this is not the drink. Yeah, I wouldn't get this. No. This is but horrible. actually, you know what? I don't normally like shots, but yeah. like this one's not so bad. It's not good. No. <laughs> I no, I mean it's I don't know. Like you need you know. need to mix that with something, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> It's like grain alcohol, that's what it tastes like. It's intense, it's very pungent, it burns your throat. It feels like it's just destroying your stomach right now. <laughs> that's, that's $7.50 for all that joy and pleasure. <laughs> all right, so while we were inside the gift shop, yes. it rained mm -hmm. and we missed it. And the sun is starting to come back out again. That is true. I think, the, I think the good luck is rubbing off. I think we're kind of getting a little bit of that. It's supposed to be a peaceful year, a loving year, and in honor of that, I got you a gift. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. So this is, they have little uh, good luck <laughs> charms in there. Oh, that's cool. I got you the turtle one. It's empowerment. And then it says in the back here. Ah, it kind of has them all in there of like success. Oh, that's cool. Loving relationships. Hand carved jade. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's really neat. And then also, I know your job gets a little stressful. I haven't seen these this in forever. Really cool. So they're little balls <laughs> and they're little case. Do you remember these? Oh, I do. And they're blue, your favorite color. And they're little pandas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. There you go. Oh, 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 it's going back. Can I do it? Oh, I can't do it the other direction. Uh, uh, uh. Like, uh, no. uh, uh, uh. Anyway, you can do the one. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are good distressors, that's for they sure. They are. So another fun thing that they have here is you can kind of view some of the Disney in Shanghai. Let's go in and let's see what they have. It's inside Shanghai Disney Resort. This is kind of fun. It gives you a little bit of a peek. So Shanghai Disney actually features a Toy Story Hotel, which I know has recently opened. There's also the King Triton Pool I would like at to the go. Shanghai Disney Resort. Oh my goodness. I would go under the sea for that one. The Mayor's Kitchen. Oh my goodness, look that at this. Really this is really pretty. Here's one of the lands of Disneyland Shanghai. Adventure Isle. You were saying this kind of reminds you of like King Kong, King Kong like versus Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. Yeah. I can see that. Some of this. Models of sculptures and elements that are found throughout the land. 
Oh, that, that rock is really cool. Look at the look at how they did all that. It's impressive. Stone guardians. Oh, but go to the end down here, the very last one. <laughs> Woolly for you. <laughs> That's cute. That looks really pretty though. It does. Look at the rendering. Oh my goodness. Speaking of Toy Story, they also have some of the cast member costumes. Here is the Al's Toy Barn hostess costume. I love how even the hat they give them looks like one of those parking cones. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at, look at little Woody. I know folks love Duffy and Friends. They are not short on Duffy. All different types. Look at this. Cookie Ann. Olumel. And I know there was a new collection that just came out for Olumel. You can get over at the Polynesian Resort right now. Oh, this is really cool. So they have a promotional video playing. Right now they have Tron, which is going to be opening before you know it here at Magic Kingdom. It's almost an exact carbon similar, copy yeah. of, the, of the ride you, you could actually go on at Shanghai. But there it is. We're going to be on Tron. They had the blue lights on month. the other night, too. And it, like, yep, it, it looks just, just like, like that. that. Yep. Yeah. We drove by it last night. It looked just like that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Shanghai Disneyland has six lands, Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, Mickey Avenue, presumably like Main Street USA. And then you have Gardens of the Imagination, Treasure Cove, and Adventure Isle. I love how they differentiated and actually created separate lands for pirates and then like adventure. That is awesome. And they're like intense. They, they absolutely are. I mean, it was really fun to go in there, but... No, my oh man, it kind of bummed me to go I'm out. I'm a little bummed. I'm waiting like for it. that teleportation <laughs> device. You're like, <laughs> Don't, oh look, guys, we're in Shanghai. <laughs> like Tokyo Disneyland, <laughs> Di Shanghai uh, Disneyland, like they all yes. look so amazing. They do. Uh, one day, one day maybe, one we'll day. see. We still have to get to Disneyland first. We haven't gone out there. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I mean, like, where do you start first? Do you go to Disneyland? Do you go to Shanghai Disneyland? Do you go to Tokyo Disneyland? Do you go to Euro Disney? There's know, so many so places we have to go. I think I would actually go to Shanghai and then Tokyo. Oh my goodness. And then I'd go to California. <laughs> and then I would go to Europe. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, yeah, I could see that. After going in there, I'm like, ooh. I have to so get past, funny. I have to get past the flying thing. That's first. our, that's our problem. Like, Disneyland's <laughs> gonna be a stretch as it is. Like, <laughs> We'll just go big first. <laughs> And speaking of Disneyland, yes. they have so much stuff going on over there for Lunar New Year. Every year we come here, I'm like so optimistic. They're going to have new things. Yeah. They're going to do all this stuff here at the China show. Pavilion. We're going to have oh. shows. We're going to have acrobats. Maybe they'll bring We're the have sidewalk all chalk over. <laughs> a little Mooshu. I have high expectations. A Mooshu. I know. Bring Mooshu. Why don't they have little Mooshus yeah. here? <laughs> He's out there wishing everybody good luck, good fortune, empowerment. Right? <laughs> Spreading the love. I still had a really good time though. Like we tried uh, by Joe. That was, I, I'm never doing that again. No, I'm no, good. No, that no. was a one and done. <laughs> we tried a ton of food. We did. I say I would say that the uh, the lotus blossom was good. I am not gonna do the booth again. That no. was not. That was a, that was a complete strikeout. But I will say I like the merch. I love going in the shop. Oh, and so we, much to explore. And we just haven't really been able to spend that much time here at the China Pavilion as yeah. we did today. I know it's been yeah. a long time. Yeah. It was definitely very enjoyable, I will say. Absolutely. Well, everyone, I think it's going to do it from a very fun day here at Epcot celebrating Lunar New Year. Yes, we wish you a happy Lunar New Year, a year of empowerment, peace, and love. Yeah, I think we all need a little bit more of that. Yeah, we do. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And until next time. Bye.